Thank you for joining us for another Series NRX Accessory Tutorial video. Today we will demonstrate how to properly install and remove a shunt trip, an under voltage release, and an overcurrent trip switch. Disclaimer: Before proceeding with the installation and or removal of any accessory, always de-energize the primary and secondary circuits. If you have a draw out breaker, make sure it is levered out to the disconnect position. Finally, all circuit breakers should be switched to the off position and all mechanism springs should be discharged. Failure to follow any of these precautions could result in death, bodily injury, and property damage. A shunt trip will open a circuit breaker when its coil is energized by a voltage input. Shunt trips can be installed as a pair, as an individual accessory, or in combination with one under voltage release. An under voltage release, or UVR, opens a circuit breaker when its supply voltage falls to between 35 to 60 percent of capacity. The UVR will not allow the circuit breaker to be closed manually or electrically until capacity is restored to at least 85 percent. A single UVR can be installed or can be paired with one shunt trip. When a circuit breaker trips as a result of an overcurrent condition, the overcurrent trip switch, also known as a bell alarm, provides an electrical indication of the occurrence. You can install either zero or two overcurrent trip switches. To install a shunt trip, a UVR, and or an overcurrent trip switch, you will need all of the following tools and parts. One Phillips head screwdriver, one pair of needle nose pliers, and overcurrent trip switch, under voltage release, and shunt trip. In this section, we will demonstrate how to remove the front cover and the left accessory tray. We will then insert an under voltage release, a shunt trip, and an overcurrent trip switch into the left accessory tray, then reattach the front cover. For this demonstration, we will use a UL1066 draw out circuit breaker. Before proceeding with the installation, you must remove the front cover of the circuit breaker. To do this, you must remove the four non-captive screws with the number two Phillips head screwdriver. If you have a four pole breaker, there are six screws to be removed. Once you've done this, pull down on the charging handle for easy removal of the cover from the breaker. Next, locate the left accessory tray. It is behind the trip unit. Put a finger on each end and slide the tray to the left. A minimum of two inches of side clearance is needed for tray removal. To insert the shunt trip into the left accessory tray, Tilt it backwards and then push the other end down until you hear a snapping sound. The snapping sound indicates that the shunt trip is locked in position. Once you've attached the shunt trip to the left accessory tray, route the two secondary leads behind the first molded tab. Then down under the second molded tab, and out the end of the accessory tray. To install an under voltage release or a second shunt trip into the accessory tray, perform the exact same process as you just completed for the first shunt trip. Next, we will demonstrate how to install the overcurrent trip switches. The switches go here. To insert them, 
carefully push both switches down until they lock in place like this. Once the switches are secure, route the three pairs of leads to the right and out the end of the accessory tray, like this. After you've secured the UVR, shunt trip, overcurrent trip switches, and routed the secondary leads, place the left accessory tray in its original position. The secondary lead should extend out from behind the trip unit once the left accessory tray is installed. Now that the left accessory tray is installed, you can make the appropriate secondary connections. To make the secondary connections, first release the secondary mounting bracket by pushing the two orange buttons located on the back of the bracket. Now match the numbers on the leads to the numbers at the top of the bracket and insert the leads in the correct slots. When finished, push the tray back into place. After you've completed the installation, you must reattach the front cover of the circuit breaker. To do this, first pull down on the manual charging handle, then position the front cover on the breaker. Make sure the cover fits inside the side sheet tabs. Once the front cover is properly positioned, secure it to the breaker with the four non-captive screws you removed earlier. Remember, if you have a four-pole breaker, there are six screws to be reinstalled. In this section, we will demonstrate how to remove an undervoltage release, a shunt trip, and an overcurrent trip switch from the left accessory tray. First, push the two orange buttons and release the secondary mounting bracket. With a pair of needle nose pliers, Squeeze together the two release tabs found on the back of every connector and pull. This will allow you to remove the lead from the secondary mounting bracket. Now depress the tabs on each end of the left accessory tray and slide it out.
Then remove the lead wires from the molded retaining tabs. First we'll remove the under voltage release and the shunt trip. To do so, pull back on the locking tab to unlock the UVR and shunt trip, then lift each accessory upward and out. To remove the overcurrent trip switches, pull back on the locking tab of each switch and lift each switch upward and out. This completes the under voltage release, shunt trip, and overcurrent trip switch tutorial. For additional tutorials and information on Eaton Series NRX circuit breakers, please visit us at eaton.com slash series NRX. For questions or further support, please contact your local Eaton sales representative.